of the next statistical procedure is what is called Bose-Einstein statistics. And I am happy to say that Bose is an Indian, Dr. S. N. Bose. Okay, now, according to this statistical procedure, there is no restriction in number of particles at any energy level. But the particles are indistinguishable. That's the real case. So I said that indistinguishable particles and no restriction to number of particles at any level. Based on this condition, they proposed an equation for the thermodynamic probability. According to them, W equal to pi into Ni plus Gi minus 1 factorial divided by Ni factorial Gi minus 1 factorial. This is the expression according to Bose Einstein for the maximum possible distribution W. N is the number of particles at any level and G A is the degeneracy at any level. As I mentioned earlier, if you take d orbitals, all the five d orbitals are having same energy, so we say they are degenerate. So this is the expression for W. Now let us take an example. I have two cells X and Y. The degeneracy is 4 at each level. I am going to distribute 3 particles in cell X and 1 particle in cell Y. So let me write the possible distributions. Find out how many, in how many ways they can be distributed. Let us apply this equation and calculate whether it agrees. Then we will arrive at the expression for the number of particles at any energy level Ni. Okay, now let us say <coughs> This is the cell. It's four compartments. All the four are having the same energy or they are degenerate or G i equal to four in this case. Let me say this is cell X. I am going to distribute three particles here. As I mentioned earlier, there is no restriction to the number of particles at any level. So, this is one possible distribution. This is another possible distribution. This is another possible distribution. And this is another possible distribution. Next, I am going to distribute two particles in one compartment and one particle in the other compartment. The, the various possibilities are 2 here and 1 here, 2 here and 1 here, 2 here and 1 here. I am going to shift this two to the next one and one to the adjacent one. I will write it here.
can keep count of it. How am I distributing? Then I will put these two particles here and I will shift the one to the next one. Two here and one here. Two here and one here. Two here and one here. Next, I'm going to shift the two particles here and the one to the next adjacent compartment. Two here and one here. Two here and one here. Two here and one here. So totally, there are 20 ways of distribution. The equation also tells you the same thing. Namely, the equation for the maximum possible distribution is Ni plus Gi minus 1 factorial divided by Ni factorial and Gi minus 1 factorial. In this case, number of particles Ni is 3, degeneracy is 4. So the equation is 3 plus 4 minus 1 factorial divided by 3 factorial 4 minus 1 factorial. The numerator is 6 factorial and it is 3 factorial and 3 factorial. 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 3 into 2 into 3 into 2. So 20 possible ways of distribution of 3 particles in cell X. I want to distribute one particle in cell Y. Let I write as this is cell Y. Only one particle. So the particle can be here or here or here or here. So four possible ways of distribution. So 20 possible ways of distribution in cell X, 4 possible ways of distribution in cell Y. So total possible ways of distribution is 20 into 4, 80 ways are there to distribute these particles. Let me write the equation once again. The maximum possible ways of distribution W equal to Phi Ni plus Gi minus 1 factorial divided by Ni factorial into Gi minus 1 factorial. That is equal to 20 in cell X and 4 in cell Y, it is 80. You can substitute and calculate, you will get the same thing. So this is the expression of maximum possible distribution according to the Bose-Einstein. The particles which obey these statistics are called bosons. Okay, now let me find out an expression for the number of particles at any energy level, Ni. So W equal to pi Ni plus Gi minus 1 factorial, Ni factorial into Gi minus 1 factorial. So I have taken logarithm for this. So phi becomes a sigma. I'm, I have applied Stirling's approximation. So NIGA minus 1, LN NIGA minus 1, minus NIGA minus 1. Minus of, similarly, it is NI LN NI minus NI. GA minus 1, LN GA minus 1, minus GA minus 1. If I remove the brackets, minus NI plus NI cancels off minus GA minus 1 plus GA minus 1 cancels off. So what you get is
L and W equal to sigma N I G I minus 1 L N N I G I minus 1 minus minus n i l n n i minus g a minus 1 l n g a minus 1 now this is the expression for l n w W is the maximum possible distribution. So Ln W is maximum. Therefore, I can say D Ln W is equal to 0. Since W is already maximum, no further change will be there. So differential of this will be equal to 0. So I am going to differentiate this. So D Ln W equal to sigma. I am going to differentiate this. N i plus G i minus 1. Differential of this is 1 by N i plus G i minus 1 plus L n N i G i minus 1 into differential of this. It is nothing but T N i. Similarly here, differential of this minus n i into 1 by n i minus l n n i into d n i. Here g i etc are constant. So differential of this will be equal to 0. So I am not writing that. So the equation will be I can cancel off this. So the equation will be Tln which is equal to 0 is equal to sigma Ln Ni plus Gi minus 1 Dni minus 1 minus Ln Ni Tn. You have a plus one here. So this plus one and this minus one will cancel off. So the result will be Dl and W equal to Ln Ni plus Gi minus 1 minus Ln Ni Dni. This is equal to 0. This is the expression for Dln W. Sigma Ln Ni plus g i minus 1 by n i d n i equal to 0 is the condition for maximum possible distribution. Compared to n i which is a large number this one can be neglected. So I can write it as this is the condition 1. Condition 2 is sigma d n i is equal to 0 and condition 3 is sigma e i d n i is equal to 0. These are the three conditions for maximum possible distribution according to Bose-Einstein. I am going to combine these three equations into one. Combining them, I, I am going to multiply the second equation by alpha and the third equation by beta and I am going to add this to this. 
So the result is that sigma alpha dni plus beta ei dni plus minus ln ni plus gi by ni dni equal to zero. This is the condition for maximum possible distribution. Now, I want to arrive at an expression for the number of particles at any level, namely for ni I want an equation. So, let me write like this alpha plus beta ei minus ln ni plus gi by ni dni equal to 0. Now, at any energy level, number of particles can migrate from one level to another level. Therefore, dni cannot be equal to 0. dni is the change in number of particles at any level. So, dni cannot be equal to 0. So, I can write it as, I can remove this. This is the condition for the maximum possible distribution. My aim is to arrive at an expression for ni. Al sigma alpha plus beta ea is equal to ln ni plus gi by ni or I can simply write as alpha plus beta ea is equal to ln ni plus gi by ni or it can be alpha plus beta ea is equal to ln 1 plus gi by ni. If I remove logarithm, I can write it as e power alpha into e power beta ea is equal to 1 plus gi by ni. Let me take this one to the other side. So it will be e power alpha e power beta ea minus 1 equal to g i by n i or n i equal to or n i equal to g i by e power alpha e power beta e a minus 1 and this is the most interesting expression for the number of particles at any level. The particles are indistinguishable and there is no restriction for the number of particles at any energy level. Subject to these conditions, this is the expression for the number of particles at any level. <music>